me on my journey through South Africa. I'm at Kruger National Park in South Africa, guided by photographer Hannes Rousseau. Today we're going to look for wildlife around Lower Sabi Camp. It is 9 o'clock and we continue our drive from Lower Sabi Camp in northern direction. A herd of elephants is resting in the shade of some trees. The rock in front is actually an elephant. They're flapping their ears to cool off. There's a tiny baby elephant peeking behind mum's legs. The herd decides to move on and cross the road. I managed to get a few photos of the little Ellie. There are many elephants next to the road. We see another baby elephant. Mum strips the leaves from the branch. We find another herd crossing the road. Mm. No, if it's too dangerous, don't stop.
We cross the Sabi River and turn around to go back to camp. So this morning was pretty amazing. I was so, so happy. It was so great with a big elephant walking on the nice dirt road uh, towards us. You know, everything was just perfect, the light and yeah, it was amazing. And it just came walking towards us over and over again. So, ah, so happy. And then later we also saw some baby elephants. So yeah, it couldn't be better. It's such a perfect day. So, so now we're going back uh, in the park doing another drive so looking forward to that see uh, see if we can get some other nice sightings so <sighs> but already yeah this day can't go wrong anymore so happy we go for another drive in the afternoon this time we're heading south beautiful light is turning the landscape into something spectacular. If only we were able to find some wildlife in this gorgeous light. We stop at a bird hide. My eye catches a beautiful tree surrounded by red grasses. I'm trying to get a better view of the tree, but as I'm not so very tall, I have to climb the fence to get a better look. Landscape photography is not my expertise, but I'll try to take a photo anyway. Impalas are not the most exotic animals in the park, but amongst the tall grasses and in this light, I think it's worth a shot. We keep on searching for wildlife, but we don't have much luck this afternoon. Sunsets in South Africa are pretty spectacular and we have a few minutes left to enjoy before heading back to camp. As you're not allowed to exit the camp after 6 o'clock, we've booked an evening drive. During the day hippos spend their time in the water, but in the evening they go on land to graze. An African civet is walking through the long grasses.
we briefly see two jackals and an African wildcat. Another civet. There's a lone male wildebeest. He has to be very, very uh, observant, otherwise he will be killed by land. Bulls that have a territory spend their time as solitary animals until females pass through and can be herded. Any animal that walks by himself in the bush is the male. Female is in the company of babies and other females, always. They are very vulnerable to predators, but since only territorial bulls will sire offspring, it is a risk that they are willing to take. Another hippo. There's a big crocodile on the riverbank. I love the sounds of the bush during the night. I wish I could listen to them a little bit longer, but it's already getting late and my alarm is set for half past four next morning. So time to go to bed. I hope you enjoyed this video. To support this channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button and let me know what you think of this video in the comments. Thank you so much for watching.